Hey everyone, what is up? What is up? Smiley J here with another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why you should try mini braids. First one that I'm going to start off with is less maintenance, okay? So I've been wearing these mini braids for a little over six months now. All I have to do is just spray my braids with some water and oil and go about my day. Of course, there's going to be those days where you have to wash your hair, maintain it and things like that. But it's not as often as when you have your hair out. So if you're one of those individuals that are just very active, very busy, this style would be very great and suitable for you. Number two would be versatility with styles. Now, when it comes to being versatile with mini braids, you can literally Literally wear anything from buns to a ponytail to a half up half down like I'm sporting right now anything literally you can just use your own creativity and it also keeps you from being bored I know there are a lot of people out there that like get really bored with having the same style over and over again or just like maintaining a, a, the same style for a long period of time this is a perfect style for you because you don't have to worry about getting bored number three would be that you can easily easily track your growth progress when it comes to me and how I do my hair I don't know about you guys but I tend to get very discouraged when I don't see that my hair is progressing as fast as I would like it to progress. So when I'm doing mini braids, you can literally see the new growth. Like you just, if you leave it alone, I mean, if you leave your hair alone, you will start to see your new growth. You'll start in, even with braiding your hair, rebraiding, you'll see it growing longer little by little. And that's what keeps my hands out of my hair. That's what keeps me like, okay, I'm making progress. Let me keep doing what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? So. Definitely good for you if you're one of those people that just easily get discouraged when you don't see your hairs growing because I'm one of those people. Number four is that braids last longer, just in general. They last longer. As long as I'm braiding my hair correctly and I'm wrapping my hair up at night, I notice that my braids stay in a lot longer um, and they don't frizz up as much. So that's another thing. It's just very easy. It's very easy to keep them in because they last longer. Okay, take four. Now number five is that it allows you to leave your hair alone. For me, it has been done wonders for me leaving my hair alone because it allows my hair to grow a lot quicker than when I'm putting my hands in it every week or so. Number six is that it's an easy style to work out in. Usually when I'm working out, all I have to do is pull my hair up in a ponytail and then wash it after. Number seven is that you get the dreadlock look without actually having dreads. And we all know that when you have dreads, your hair tends to grow a lot faster, right? So it's a great method for growing out your hair because of the fact that you're doing the same thing with the dreadlocks, just leaving it alone, letting it grow out, then instead of retwisting the edge, you're just rebraiding it and it gets longer and longer and longer. Easy, easy way to grow your hair. Number eight is that it is easy to wash, hallelujah. Number nine is that there is not as much shrinkage, which is amazing for me because with my hair, when it comes, I don't know about y'all, I don't know about y'all, but when it comes to my hair and I wet it, the shrinkage is disrespectful, even in general. Like if I have my hair and I've braided it out or something and it's out, it just gets so small. Like it's like I have no hair on my head. So when it comes to this style, when you braid it, of course it's gonna be a little bit thinner, like with my hair right now, like, but it's growing up. Okay, but anyway. Um. <laughs> and number 10 is that it is a wearable style to work because of the versatility, because of how it looks, and you can make it look professional and nice. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, it will really help me out a lot. And I will be coming to you soon with some more videos um, with styles, how I style my hair on a daily basis, what I do to moisturize, what I do to wash, what I do to even rebraid, things that I've even learned that I realized are not so good for 4C natural hair. Stay tuned and look out for those videos. Until then, Smiley J signing off.